Good evening and hello world. I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. I also would like to welcome every single newbie that's here for the very first time. Uh, I like to talk about my own experiences of what it's like for me to live on the spectrum. Other times I will give my two cents as to what's going on with autism and the media. And the third one is I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. Like for instance, I am a member of the Brony community, and for those of you who don't know, uh, Brony, it, you know, is a play on words, which means brother pony. And yes, I love the show My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. There is absolutely no doubt that uh, there are uh, people uh, at Hasbro Studios who are on the autism spectrum working on My Little Pony. Friendship is magic, uh, especially with all of the visual arts and all of the great details and all of the references. So, anyway, uh, in this video blog, I would like to um, start giving tips to um, individuals who are on the autism spectrum, and that's because I am involved with the Autism Plan of Georgia, and I'm using these blogs, which are an archived resource for Parent to Parent of Georgia, and that means that parents and individuals on the autism spectrum and other social workers and current and potential employers and mentors and family members can all have access to these video blogs and can share them with uh, anybody who they know and they can learn from an expert on herself. So in this video blog, I would like to uh, talk specifically to the um, autism community and what I'd like to do is talk to you guys about uh, what a friend is not because I know well, like myself many of us have or many of you have battled to find yourself a friend and I don't know if any of you have heard of Jennifer Cook O'Toole but she's very new to the autism community and uh, she won a Temple Grandin award and I believe she was a teacher but she has Asperger's syndrome and I like how she uh, said it, but a lot of times people with mild autism and Asperger's cannot pinpoint you know, who our uh, friends are, but we are very good at pinpointing who they are not, and I think that's pretty sad. So I wanted to start pinpointing um, who a friend is not. And of course, you know, just because somebody um, hangs out with you and you, go, you do the same things together or you call each other on the phone, it doesn't mean that they're your friends. I mean, in fact, it could mean that they don't like you at all. They could just be hanging out with you to latch themselves onto you because they either don't have anything else better to do or they like to well, cause drama. But I wanted to list off a yeah, bunch of different, or different examples of what a friend is not. So, number one, okay, if you have a friend that is constantly in your life and they are telling you that their own family members or their own friends behind their backs and they dislike you because uh, you have this quirk or that quirk um, that is not a friend at all or it's not really a good friend and not only is it a hearsay drama situation but these people are also gossiping about their own loved ones and I think that's our red flag right there uh, another great example is, let's say, uh, you really like somebody and you keep calling them and they uh, lead you around when you call and they only talk to you for 15 minutes, but it's always up to you to call them back and they say, yeah, but can you call me back in the next 15 minutes? I have to brush my teeth or I have sanitary issues in the bathroom. That's not a friend. If somebody it wants to body shame you and they tell you they love you like a family member, like let's say you're really slender and somebody else, they're not obese, but they have, they're a few pounds heavier than you are, and they're telling you that you're, you don't eat right or you're anorexic, definitely not a friend that's a bully. Um, I also have a really good memory, and I remember one of uh, the first girls I hung out with as um, a four-year-old, she was two years older than me, and she would constantly um, poke me. And, you know, a friend is not going to poke somebody. I mean, she would do it for no reason, and she wouldn't say why. 
and then I would knock on her door and she would be mad if she opened the door and she saw me and she would explode, I cannot play, and she'd slam the door in my face. That's definitely not a friend. For, uh, for you moms out there and for um, your, your kids that are uh, toddlers and preschool age, that's definitely not a friend. Uh, okay, for those of you who are adults, uh, you need to look for this one. Okay, how about someone who um, keeps promising they're going to attend your things and they say, yes, I'll go, and they never show up, but they never call you and explain why, and then you run into them another time and they're too embarrassed and they say uh, something's always coming up and they never call you and you ask them and they give you an excuse like, well, um, my phone was down or my phone broke, I dropped it and I had to get another one. Uh, that's definitely not a friend. Uh, other examples of someone who's not a friend is um, what about an individual who, well, who you know, who's never uh, there when you want to invite them to things. Uh, they're uh, they're always too busy for you, or something else is always more important. Or let's say they promise to write to you if they go off to the military and participate in the basic combat training and you never get one letter from them even though they kept promising and promising and promising and then when you confront them again when you hear from them it you get this comment that uh, that they were too busy and they were just homesick and they wanted to call their family members or they felt like con contacting their special someone uh, again that's definitely not a friend I mean now Keep in mind that these are experiences that I faced as someone on the autism spectrum. And I just, I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that because, uh, you know, there's so many people on the spectrum that just get hurt. And then another one uh, indicating that someone's not a friend is if uh, they keep saying things to you and they keep assuring you that they're your friend, but they keep uh, leading you around and they keep giving you excuses. I mean, and the excuse factor is a red flag right there that's not a friend and uh, I, the final one I wanted to say is somebody who is not a friend isn't going to make you upset every time they turn around you know you aren't going to find yourself mad at them you aren't going to find yourself um, getting into a conflict and um, a friend isn't going to uh, twit, twit at you about your um, your hair and they aren't going to make comments like well gee Maya uh, when I first met you I thought you were a lesbian that's definitely not a friend. So anyway, I'm about done and I'm about to wrap up. If you have any questions or comments, you are more than welcome to respond below. I look forward to hearing from you. And I also look forward to well, responding back. So uh, please be sure to also subscribe and share this on Twitter and on Facebook and on every single social media site. I'd really like my blogs to go viral for the autism community. And uh, until next time, I'm signing off now. Bye.